Hi everybody, I'm here for another Pico card. So this time it's about what you're not seeing coming, what you don't see coming. And as usual, you will have the timestamps down below and I will finish off with a cleaning session with my uh, healing bowl. Uh, so uh, if you wanna take some time to pause the video to really take the time to see what resonates for you and what feels right, please do. I'm just gonna go straight ahead, straight ahead sorry, in the reading to uh, see what the energies are. I haven't prepared anything. I just grabbed a card here and we're going to see. A group that chose number one. What is it about? Is it recording? It is. Wait, I need to check that. Okay, the little red light is on. We can, we can start. So here, let's see what is the message for you. Let's discover the card to get the card together, yeah, and see what's in for you. Ah, it's already flipped. Safe home. I cast the circle around about. Safety now is beyond doubt. Okay, I feel that here the clearest and the, the most uh, obvious message is that you're gonna find a new home. And I really feel that for the majority of you, it's a new home or a new job in which you will feel safe and in which you will feel that you're on the right, um, in the right place doing what you should be doing, if it makes sense. There's a big sense of uh, being being in the right uh, at the right time in the right place I, is there an expression like that I, I believe it's about timing and synchronicity so it feels that you're going to experience a lot of synchronicities in the near future and I really feel that for some of you that are not really happy where you live the place that you're at you'll be able to find something much better soon that's what I'm getting here um, let's see what other messages I can give you now that we have the kind of main theme. So what's coming that you're not aware of that's going to happen? What you don't see coming? What you don't see coming? told you there's something about the home um, or the family. I'm going to take maybe three more. Those are beautiful cards, guys. For those that just group one, look. It's all about gratitude, deserve, deserving optimism. I really feel that you're on the right side of the street, on the right side of the road, quite frankly. Um, everything seems to improve. Everything seems to be uh, now working in your favor or it's going to be... Uh, I feel that your relationships are going to be smoother. I repeat myself, but if you are looking for a place, I, I believe that you're going to be able to find it. And um, there's also a sense of belonging, of feeling surrounded by loving people. If you had your shares of, of troubles and shitty relationships, I really do believe that you're entering a new cycle of your life. And this new cycle is all about friendships, being surrounded by loving people and being in a work environment or a, a, an environment at large that feels safe, that feels um, that feels right for you. I'm gonna add some astral cards. What I'm hearing is for some of you, maybe switching from if you drink or eat a lot of dairies, maybe um, making a bit of an adjustment in your diary. Uh, no, how do you say it? Not diary. In your um, uh, diet uh, would be great. Going for maybe um, um, vegetal, you know, um, non-milk uh, milk. milk. 
which is almond milk or stuff like that. It might be good for you. There's something about changing your the eating more nutritious food. And if you already do, keep doing that because it feels that it's going to improve your overall health, uh, whether it's mental, physical, or even spiritual. Flow. You see, even the cards really... Um, emphasize and add up on this idea of, of really being in the right energy in the right mindset to attract love to attract a loving partner with those cards that could also tell us that there's some sort of orchestrated behind the scene um, kind of meeting about to happen to um, really make you meet the par the person you're supposed to meet because you're in a place right now in your life where uh, you're ready for that um, type of relationship for that type of commitment so I feel it's a really uh, moving forward uh, movement for you and everything is happening because you're not really uh, scared anymore or you don't feel bad about leaving some things behind so for me that tells me that um, if you had family issues like if you didn't get along with some of the people around you um, if you really uh, maybe cut your family off for a while because you needed to figure out who you are and being surrounded by people that really um, kind of blurred out your uniqueness, made you want to go somewhere else to see uh, where you could find yourself. I feel you kind of had to get got, get lost to find yourself. That's a bit the energy I feel. And now you know who you are, you know where you stand, and you're just ready, you're ripe to just be able to receive everything that life has to offer. So it's really a great, great energy. Honestly, this is a great reading. Can I have at least one shitty card to have something to say? <laughs> because you don't even really need me, guys. You see, you you broke out of your shell. You know who you are. And you're loving and you're feeling. And I feel this warmth, this lightness. Even the cards have all a sort of kind of halo like um, you know, effect on them. You can see there's always a halo. We have the ascended masters. So if you believe in that, your ancestors and your spirit guides or your team of angels, if you believe in those things and use those terms, um, you're really highly protected. And um, I guess you don't even need them to to guide you, uh, to tell you which way to go because you already feel it intuitively. I feel you're going to get way more intuitive and you're going to be more responsive to what life has to offer and um, to the the, 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 the the things that, the opportunities that are going to arise and that are going to be very beneficial for you. That's what I'm feeling. Let's see, I'm going to add just to have a bit more clarity on the cards. We're just going to use the tarot because um, I like using my tarot. I want to use, actually, I don't know why I feel called to use the Tarot de Marseille. And I should have um, taken that, which is on the other side of the room. Yay! Because I would like to take another oracle for you to wrap up the reading. Okay, let's do that. We have the Eight of Coins. And you can actually be proud of yourself because this didn't just pop out from the sky, you know, or just like fell down from a tree in front of your eyes and without you having to sweat or without you like just you like just, you know, wanting to something and, and you have it. No, we see that it took time and that it's through um, a really diligent um, effort that you got where to the point where you're at now. It like... It, it didn't like just happen poof overnight. It's something that you've worked on. Yeah, you're cleaning a lot of also karmic relationships and you're cleaning a lot of, I feel, uh, family karma too. Um, you're, you're really getting rid of a lot of things and I think you've cut off 
toxic people from your life or I guess people that just um, nurtured toxicity in the relationship, in the relation. So I really feel that you, you really did, yeah, I feel that your dreams are about to come true and especially in the um, sentimental area and the sentimental department. If you've been single for a long time, someone is coming, rest assured, uh, they're on their way, they're coming. And if you've already met someone, um, I feel that you, you, you know where you are and how, uh, how much progress you, you actually made. And it's maybe thanks to this person too, but for the majority, love is coming and, um, or you, you're already with this person. It could be both, but I feel like for those that need to hear it, love is coming and it's going to come or come sooner than you think. Yeah, your mind is clear. Your mind is clear. And that is why it's just getting easier and easier because you trust yourself and you listen to your own intuition or at least to your own guidance. And that is the most important. Yeah, I feel that you know that there might have been some compromises or even sacrifices to make. Uh, to be able to get where you are and I feel you maybe felt like you lost some sort of privilege to some degree or that maybe things for a while felt really rocky and you even wonder why the hell you chose to go the way you went about things but now I feel that you're about to have the clarity and to have the confirmation that that was the right thing to do and to not look back. Yeah, it's just now about following your bliss. There's not much to Nine of Cups. Like, I mean, you just have to follow your bliss. There's not much to add here. It's it's a beautiful spread. What you don't see coming is like love is on the horizon and like the sun is shining. And after the darkness, you know, there was light again. And that really what it, that's really what it feels like. Light after really dark, dark hours. And, and now it's all about just following this this light that you know that is inside and just letting in let it let it let it drive you you know so that life works through you you know it's beautiful well group one that was a beautiful reading i don't have much to add it's it's a beautiful reading okay For the people that chose group two, I'm going to drink a little. Alors, amethyst. Healing. Candle flame burn this hour. Bring to me your healing power. I feel here that um, there was something that I think you're breaking out of a recurrent pattern, whether it's an emotional thing, whether it's a relationship kind of scheme, you know, that happens over and over again. And you're like, I'm done. Like, I'm done with this. I want to be done with this. I feel that you're finally breaking free of a mind pattern of a psychic um, pattern and if you were also maybe s prone or subdued to um, entities and you know um, energy leeches um, and that you felt that you were just like sucked dry by emotional vampires and such I feel you're getting out of this and you're not an easy prey for those types of people anymore let's see what the cards have to add here I have the song in my head, uh, We Won't Get Full Again, We Won't Get Full Again. I think it's the, by the band, the, the, the British band, The Who. It was also, I think, um, CSI, um, the, the OST for, I think, for the entire show, no? I, at least one of them, We Won't Get Full Again, ding! So, yeah. Uh, so there's something about um, having been 
too nice or feeling that you've been too kind with some people that really abused um, your, 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 they've, they've abused your, your trust and they took your kindness for weakness. That's what I'm feeling here. So you're not going to let that happen again. I think it's a woman in your life, whether you're male or female, a woman in your life you see was taking your energy. You felt trapped in a relationship, whether it's friendship or love. You felt trapped in something that wasn't working. And you are, you're getting out of there. You see status quo. Or if you're in your no contact situation, maybe with the next that you can't really get over, it feels that it's now is the time to get over. What you don't see happening is that there's something much better ahead of you. And that um, I think you're going to just fall out. Of, of this connection, whether it's, uh, you know, love or friendship. I feel there's a fallout uh, when it comes to a person in your life because you see that basically healing them, they cannot be combined. Like, it's, it's mutually exclusive. Like, those two things don't match in the equation and it's or you choose you or you stay with them, but you know that you'll never be able to heal. I usually give this example, but sometimes the simplest examples are the best. Um, if you are a recovering alcoholic or drug addict, you've stopped using, you're clean. You went to rehab, you're clean. You cannot go and hang around with the people with whom you used to get drunk or you used to shoot up heroin, you know? It's like there's something, or if I, that was a bit heavy, but maybe you actually worked on your health, you were overweight or, or, or underweight, you had eating disorder problems, you went and you kind of got treated for that and had started to follow therapy, you're, get, you're going better, but as soon as you go back home, your mom starts to kind of bully you the way she used to when you were a child and you go back and you're like disordered, like eating habits, like you go back to your old ways. Someone in your life is not helping you um, evolve and heal. Somebody is blocking the healing process and you're going to, what you don't see coming is actually that the choice that you are about to make or that you're, you, you should make is not that hard. Actually, it's not going to be that hard to let go of whoever or the group of people that are not beneficial to your life. I think you're um, overestimating how difficult it would be to be without them because in actuality, there's much better. And um, that's what you don't see coming, that there's so much better that's about to coming if you just let it, you know. It's just like making room for, for, for something new, you know. And as soon as you start making room for something new, like magic things, magical things can happen. Yeah, talking about Pluto transformation, talking about a drastic change. And I think that you better make those choices now because life will put you, I guess, on your knees and it will force you to make a choice. So it's, I, I would rather for you to have to choose the easy ride rather than take the, the really heavy ride. I see, you know what I see here? I see that your your appearance might also change. You might go through a very transition um, in your wardrobe closing style, in the in maybe in the condition of your 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 body, your skin. Maybe you will have a glow up, and the and that's when you're gonna see that people actually um, some people didn't have your best interest and uh, at heart, and that maybe it was. It was convenient for them for you to be like, uh, you know, the the kind of weirdo of the family or the one that always had like mental breakdowns and, you know, that was so, so, so weak, you know, and so complicated and, you know, she has to be really taken care of. Like, and I feel that now that you're stepping out of this sort of victim kind of, um, I guess, etiquette that we've stuck on you. Um, now people see you in a different light. Some are positively uh, surprised and are actually looking up to you. And a couple are not happy that you're actually outgrowing them. So let them go. If those people don't wish you the best and don't want to support your growth, let them go. It doesn't mean that they'll never catch up, but for the now, let them go. Don't stay attached to people that are not committed to their own growth and... 
even less to your own growth you know some people don't want things to change that's just the way it is yeah maybe you had beef with a woman in your life maybe it could be your mom a sister an auntie a best friend I, f I see a fallout in a relationship here that's kind of making you stuck yeah you see it's about time for you to shine you see how I was thinking about letting go because when you empty things, you like when you empty your life symbolically, you just make it so that life can fill it with something different. Here she is just letting her cups flow back to the river and she's not concerned because she knows she will always be able to fill them in, you know? That's the sort of mindset you should keep in mind. You see with the Judgment card and Pluto here, if you don't make that change, life will make it for you. So you have to be prepared to make some changes when it comes to your, I guess, um, social life and family life. Yeah, it's about to, for you, I think you're craving more stability, more emotional stability and security and feeling safe. And uh, you're not getting it from where you are. So you might need to go somewhere else to get it or explore a relationship if it's working and you're with someone and you're happy with them. Um, it's about exploring new horizons to be able to grow within the relationship. Seven of Cups, yeah, it's time to move, right? Yeah, you see emotional fulfillment and it feels that you have to get it from elsewhere or add some in your life. Yeah, it's the end of also a sort of mental, um, mental, um, I guess, you know, surcharge. <laughs> When you have too much overload, I think that would be the term, it's time to end this uh, mental overload that is being fueled by someone around you. Um, I'm just going to take maybe to give you clarity. Capricorn, ambitious, so that might be you're the person, maybe that's the problem. Gemini, intelligent. Voila, group two, I hope that was out of service and uh, I'll see you around for other videos or at the end of this one for the healing bowl session. Okay. Now, last but not least for the people that chose the two light group three what's the message for you Ooh, a baby a pregnancy let all take root seed and sprout let new life be all about new project new relationship or you're about to have a child i feel money it could also be money coming in big money projects really taking off that's nice let's see what else Big money coming in, but for the majority, is a pre it's a pregnancy. So if y'all don't want to get pregnant out there, you might want to use protection. Okay, group three. change of status too. You might go through really upgrading your career and that might feel weird for a bit. So beware of your sabotage, self-saboteur inside that, you know, when we go through changes and we're not really prepared for them because it happens just so fast, like, I don't know, overnight fame, uh, you blow up on social media or something. And um, it's weird because you're used to a way of living and you're uh, your your money has improved and your, your lifestyle has changed or is changing. But sometimes it goes so fast that, you know, we have a hard time adjusting. It's like maybe you were on like minimum wage salary. Now you're, I don't know, you're, you will be earning like 10K, 20K per month or more. And you're like, you're, you're still in your old mindset where you had maybe troubles, you know, meeting 
making ends meet and you know you always ended up with your bank account like with like minus I don't know 200 500 and all of a sudden there's no lack so it's hard to get out of lack mentality and actually realizing that there's no lack left but you still feel like there is something to fill so be careful with self-sabotage uh, that could come um, because things are moving and maybe a bit too fast for you. So be gentle with yourself in those cases when fears or self-sabotage seems to come to the surface. What you can do is just welcome this part of you that is scared and just be, hey, it's cool, you know. Just like you would do with a child, like I know it's weird for you. You see increase. Yeah, I know it's weird for you, but it doesn't mean that, you know... I'm still the same person. It's just different, my, like a different set of, of circumstances, but I'm still the same person. That also could be applicable if you already have a child and you're about to have your second or third child, you know, and um, maybe your first, uh, your first uh, child might be a bit wary that someone else might replace them, replace them, and it's about telling them, honey, like. I love you, you know, and you're not going to be replaced. We're just adding pouring more love in the family with a new child, but we will not leave you and left you out. Like you will always have, you know, um, a place in our heart, like rest assured that you, you will not be left out. I think that's for some of you, that's what, uh, like the, maybe your child will have to, to hear to kind of, you know, be less, um, uh, scared about not being the priority perhaps anymore for uh, for a while at least planning an action yeah ascended masters again present power fear mm -hmm. so yeah definitely increase in money in status lifestyle relationship getting to the next level and for some of you it could be like for instance you know i know that's going to sound a bit silly but when you're about to get married um i've never been married yet but i can kind of it's an example that seems re reasonable and realistic at some you know why we do the oh, i have no idea how you say that you know the enterrement and i don't have my phone i can when you're about to get married, uh, you have to, well, it's, uh, uh, I guess, for the more kind of uh, Western people, I don't know, in the in Eastern countries, I don't think they have that, but uh, it's about the bridal, bridal, bridal shower, and guys have also something where you just go with your best friend somewhere and basically get pissed drunk and you say goodbye to single life because you know you're about to get married and to take vows in front of God symbolically. Um, and it feels that you know a part of you is just you have to let go of a part of you. So yeah, maybe you're about to get married or have your child and you won't be maybe only a mother or I mean a woman or a man. You'll be a father or uh, a mother to a, a child. Or it's maybe about, like I was saying, you're about to get married or engaged and you're like, wow, single life, bye bye All the people that I could have slept with and have fun with, finito, hi, bye bye And it can be, I think it can feel a bit strange because I've went through my own personal sort of situation like this where... You know, you know that your life has changed in some way and in others you can still kind of um, hold on to some sort of routine, but the, the kind of environment and, and the, 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 the outer, like the outer environment has changed and you know that you're not completely different, but you know that you're not really the same any longer, like anymore. So it's about adjusting to drastic, massive changes for you, it feels where you know it's like you make a 180 degree and your life is really about to take um, a big kind of uh, movement forward, like fast, you know, fast, um, speedy, uh, like taking like, it, it feels like, you know, you're not on a small, a small like countryside road, like you're about to take the highway and things are really going to speed up for you. That's what I, it feels like here. Maybe moving out, maybe even changing countries for some people. Expatriation, flow. This is the advice. Keep it in the flow. Don't try to fight. 
the because you know it's funny i was thinking how nature is the like best teacher ever because i, I was just cutting off some old dead leaves from my plant and actually i didn't even have to cut them they would just peel away fall off because they were just you know all yellow they were done and i was like that's how nature works that's how people work like the snake will shed its skin, the plants will lose their lower kind of um, leaves so that bigger can grow. And for us too, symbolically, we have to peel a layer usually away and it goes through cycles. Usually it's three, seven, and then seven, 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 you know, the, the number seven. But it's funny, we have the seven, seven here. Um, it's like you, you know that it's a cycle and it's over and it's like for women when they have menopause you know that a cycle is wrapping up because you won't you won't have your period again and uh, you know that you will not be able to bring a child in this world again and you, you changed as a woman and for men i suppose they have similar things so it's all about accepting the natural cycles of life for you yeah, complexity. It might be a bit hard to let go of some things because maybe you hold dear those things and those habits, maybe your single habits. And you know, it's like um, if you're about to like move in with your partner, you won't be able to maybe keep all your single habits. There's stuff that you were, maybe you used to like walk around like naked in your home and do every, every, every once in a while, you know, uh, a clay mask and let your hair on your legs and you know even maybe facial hair grow and you're like oh I don't care I don't have someone in my life and now it's like well now I have someone and I want to look you know and be appealing to the person I'm with so I'm gonna have to kind of do things that I might not have done if I was just living by myself it feels like that it's it's not drastic horrible changes I would say it's more like positive uh, changes but it it implies for you to let go and 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 to um, drop maybe some 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 habits or um, drop a vision of yourself that is no longer suiting. Yeah, for some of you, it might be uh, to you. You've just achieved, or you 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 might realize soon enough that you you actually maybe perhaps achieved most of the of the the dreams and of the goals you you set for yourself, and now it's about going for other dreams and doing other things you know it's like the end of the dream of a dream to begin a new one yeah for some it's also knowing that you don't want to reproduce you don't want to do like some of the people in your family maybe in relationships or in how they like your the, your parents maybe managed or viewed money you don't want to repeat the things that didn't work out for the people in, around you or you know in the family tree you you want to be able to break a, a, a cycle something that was just happening and you, you don't want to be doing that. Maybe, you know, your parents had a, a horrible fallout and their marriage was horrible and you're like, I would like to do a bit better. I won't maybe do it like all around better than them, but to some degree, I want to feel that I improved compared to them. The kind of, uh, you know, maybe communication skill in a marriage, in a relationship. Like, it's like, I might not do great, but I want to do better than what was done before me. That's what it feels like. Yeah, maybe you also, you went through a grieving process. Maybe you, you lost a loved one and you really felt like everything was falling apart in your life. And you're getting to the stage where you're like, okay, it's still actually worth living. And I'm just going to see and keep going to see what's there for me, you know. That could tell us that. Yeah, for me, it's feeling more, um, more, I guess, um, grounded and ready for the change that uh, you're about to manifest yeah it could be a child like i was saying for some of you it could be also uh, a change of location like we said previously it's really about um discovering something new it's funny i have the ghibli studio film in mind uh, uh shiro There's something quite mystical and whimsical here. Yeah, you see. 
it's about breaking down the old you. And I was going to say there's something about your mom, maybe. Maybe your relationship to your mother is about to be modified drastically because of a, changed, a change in your life. Maybe becoming a mother will change your relationship to your mother or maybe um, motherhood will change you in a way, obviously, that will make you completely you see the world with a different uh, set of eyes. But something about the mom and something about old beliefs and conditioning being just broken down completely. Let's see what, um, what can I use to wrap up the reading. Did I forget something? No, I used everything. We're just going to use maybe two dice, three dice. Yeah, shooting star, putting things straight, record straight. And you see, once again, clarity, enlightenment, seeing things with uh, a different perspective and maybe even un unraveling, discovering a family secret for some of you. That could be. All right, group three. I hope that was helpful. And I'm going to finish off this reading with my healing bow. It always sounds weird when I say it. But I don't know how else I can say it. And that's what it's called. Okay, let's have fun here. Let's close off the reading properly with the root chakra. Allez. May all the energy from all the piles and all the people that might come across this video, may all the energy be cleared out for the greatest good of all now. Thank you for spending this time with me and I'm going to just finish off. You can stop the video if you want. I'm just going to, I feel like inspired to just keep with the flow of the video and not cut everything or try to edit or chop the videos. I usually don't do that anyway. And I just want to do the closing kind of ritual. I think symbolically we can actually draw the intention that may the cycle that is about to end, end in peace and in, in, the, in with love and peace and may the new cycle be able to start joyfully. I might do some candle healing actually. You know what? We're gonna start doing that. I might do that on the channel actually. Or on Patreon, I don't know, we'll see.
Bye, everybody. See you next time.